heaven all wonders in one sight eternity shut in a span summer in winter day in night heaven in earth and god in man now place the christ child in the crib Great little one, whose all-embracing birth brings earth to heaven and stoops heaven to earth. Dear friends, as we meet to celebrate the birth of Christ, let us pray that God will bless this crib, that all who worship his Son, born of the Virgin Mary, may come to share his life in glory. God our Father, on this night your Son Jesus Christ was born of the Virgin Mary for us and for our salvation. Bless this crib which we have prepared to share that holy birth, that all who see it may be strengthened in faith and receive the fullness of life he came to bring, who is alive and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. the final candle of the Advent ring burns in the light of Christ. Let us come to our prayers of penitence. Christ, the light of the world, has come to dispel the darkness of our hearts. In his light, let us examine ourselves and confess our sins. Lord of grace and truth, we confess to you our unworthiness to stand in your presence as your children. We have sinned. Forgive and heal us. The Virgin Mother, the Virgin Mary, accepted your call to be the mother of Jesus. Forgive our disobedience to your will. We have sinned. Forgive and heal us. Your Son, our Saviour, was born in poverty in a manger. Forgive our greed and rejection of your ways. We have sinned. Forgive, Forgive and heal us. The shepherds left their flocks to go to Bethlehem. Forgive our self-interest and lack of vision. We have sinned. Forgive, Forgive and heal us. The wise men followed the star to find Jesus the King. Forgive our reluctance to seek you. We have sinned. Forgive, Forgive and heal us. And may the God of all healing and forgiveness draw you to himself, cleanse you from all your sins, that you may behold the glory of his Son, the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Christmas Mass. It is lovely to meet with you and to meet with those of you online as well. So grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also, and also with you. And so we give glory to God together. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. As we stand, let us pray in the peace of this Christmas celebration, that our joy in the birth of Christ will last forever. Almighty God, who made this most holy night to shine with the brightness of your one true light, bring us, who've known the revelation of that light on earth, to see the radiance of your heavenly glory through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As we hear our first reading from the psalm.
spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days he has spoken to us by a son, whom he appointed heir of all things, through whom he also created the worlds. He is the reflection of God's glory and the exact imprint of God's very being. And he sustains all things by his powerful word. When he had made purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become as much superior to angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, today I have begotten you? Or again, I will be his father, and he will be my son. And again, when he brings the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all God's angels worship him. Of the angels, he says, He makes his angels winds, and his servants flames of fire. But of the Son, he says, Your throne, O God, is for ever and ever. And the righteous scepter is the scepter of your kingdom. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness beyond your companions. And in the beginning, Lord, you found in the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you remain. They will all wear out like clothing. Like a cloak, you will roll them up. And like clothing, they will be changed. But you are the same, and your years will never end. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory. Alleluia. Hear the holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. And the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light 
of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light, the true light, which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us and we have seen his glory the glory as of a father's only son full of grace and truth this is the gospel of the lord praise to you speaking in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please do sit down. It is good to be here tonight, especially as for many months we wondered if we would be able to, in person, celebrate a Midnight Communion um, to be together. One of the changes that we've embraced so much is to be able to welcome um, the community online as well to share in this worship with us. And so though it is unusual, it is still a grace and a joy to be able to join together. Midnight Communion last year, I stood in this very place and we celebrated the gift of Jesus born into our world, the word who became flesh and dwelt among us. And I place the Christ child in the crib, as I did tonight, as I have done for more than two decades in different churches throughout this country. And yet, who of us could have conceived of the year that lay before us, the journey that would bring many of us through perhaps the darkest year in our nation, that has lived through for many generations, a journey that brings us to this Christ Mass, this holy night. Jesus, our Lord and Saviour, whose birth we celebrated last year, will have accompanied us on that journey, and we now come to him afresh this holy night, whether in person within this ancient church or within our homes. And I wonder, I wonder what each of you here present and each at home I wonder what you bring with you tonight to the crib of Jesus this year. I wonder what pain and sorrow, or what hard-won realisation and insights, what kindness or joy, because there has been joy in this year as well, what you bring with you this night as part of the journey from last Christmas to this. For as we come to greet Jesus' birth afresh, we remember he is also Emmanuel, God with us now, and the one who is the one to come in all his majesty. And when we come to him, we bring all of ourselves, our frailty, as well as our strength. And this year, this COVID year, we have faced how frail our human flesh is for all of us, 
not others who we think of as being unwell or ill, but this has been a pandemic that has threatened everyone. And each of us has reckoned with our own vulnerability, our own mortality, our own bearer sometimes of a disease to another, of being at risk from one another. We all recognise our own defencelessness in the face of a disease we have no immunity from. And we give thanks for the vaccination which is now among us. So this year that we have seen our vulnerability as human people, our fail fresh flesh, we have also seen our strength and beauty, the selflessness of those who have cared, the creativity of the scientists who did the research that has led us to vaccination, the endless kindness of unnamed individuals who've reached out and made a difference in the lives of individuals, the untold stories. We have discovered how much we need relationship and one another and how important it is to be touched and to be held. We've also seen our darkness, the selfishness, the stockpiling, the profiteering, the lack of care for others, the injustices in our systems, which means certain groups in our societies have been more at risk. And perhaps this Christmas, we realise more than ever the risk the eternal God took to dare to take on flesh and dwell among us. Perhaps this most holy night, this Covid year, we recognise more fully the journey the eternal word made to become flesh in the person of Jesus Christ, to be born into time and into the realities of frail flesh. Jesus born into a time where there was no NHS, where it was much more difficult to live to become an adult, to grow from a child into a man and to live a full life. The book of the Philippians says about the one who is Jesus said, who though he was in the form of God, he did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, something to be grasped is the image but emptied himself, taking the form of the slave, being born in human likeness. This year, perhaps we recognise how great God's love for us and his world is, of the risks he took to become frail flesh. And tonight here, we greet with gladness two births, a human birth in Jesus Christ and a spiritual birth in each one of us who has come to Jesus by baptism. The birth of Jesus, the Word made flesh, marks a moment when Jesus is born in pain, in blood, in the struggle of a woman, into a human family. And that human birth made possible the spiritual birth of each one of us, that each one of us who are flesh and blood could be born into the family of God and known as sons and daughters. And so we heard, to all who received Jesus, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. That frail birth enabled us to become family family of the living God, through the incarnation of the cross and the grace of resurrection, we become part of God's family through baptism. And we know we belong, whatever's happening in the world. We know we belong and that Emmanuel, God, is with us through the darkness and the joy and sends us to others with that good news. So I wonder, this night, this holy night, as sons and daughters of the living God, what do you bring to the crib tonight? To the one who knows the joys and sorrows of our life, who shared them, who has reached into the depths of death and risen to new life. What have you 
experienced this year? What is it that you want to bring to Jesus this night? And remember that Jesus, who is now the risen, ascended Lord, who is at the right hand of the Father, is still human. He has that resurrection body, but it is the body which is created out of frail flesh. And he stands at the right hand of the Father and intercedes for us. He still bears the scars of the life that he has lived. He knows what it is to live our life and to die our death. And as he prays for us, he knows what it is for our frailty and our strength as he prays. And so whatever it is you bring tonight in your journey, in your experience of this year, whatever perhaps is hidden from others, which is part of your journey, the invitation tonight is to exchange. In Isaiah 57, 7 to 10, we heard read at the beginning what it is that the coming of Emmanuel, what it is that the coming of God brings. And the cry of the messenger is that the coming of God brings salvation and brings peace. And that is the cry that is taken up by the angels as they appear to the shepherds on the hill. Glory to God in the highest heaven, they cry, and peace on earth among whom, on whom his favour rests. Peace, shalom, wholeness, healing, renewal, peace. That's what peace means, shalom. <coughs> In the Jewish Bible and salvation is that sense of being rescued saved brought home brought back to ourselves as sons and daughters of the living God afresh and the peace shalom salvation is held in our relationship with Jesus and it isn't that we're delivered out of the circumstances in which we find ourselves any more than Jesus was but in the midst of them, we discover afresh that we are not alone. That God, who is Emmanuel, Jesus, who is our peace, is with us. And that is good news for us and for all who receive him this night. So for those of you who are present here in this ancient church, this night, this most holy night, as you hold out your hands for the bread, Hold in your hearts and minds before Jesus what it is that you carry to him as you come to the crib tonight. And let him meet you afresh. And this most holy night, each of you who meet with us online as you join us at home, as you share with us in the spiritual communion, speak to Jesus as you would speak to your closest friend of what you want to bring to him this night. And know that Emmanuel, God with us, is with you as strongly in your home as he is with us here as we receive the bread and the wine. So we read, how beautiful on the mountain are the feet of those who announce peace, who bring good news, who announce salvation, who tame to Zion, your God reigns. And so each of us here tonight and at home, to the parish of Jarrow and Simonside, know that your God reigns, and his name is Jesus, and he is Emmanuel, God with us, whatever each day brings. Let's bow our heads to pray. Lord Jesus, this most holy night, you see the journey of our lives through this most difficult year, you see what we bring before you this night, our sorrows, our joys, our struggles, also our joys. And we pray that you will meet us afresh. We will know you as the one who comes to us in frailty, the one who comes through us to death, and the one who will come again in glory and will banish all sorrow and suffering. So speak to us afresh, we pray, and we ask this as your sons and daughters. Amen. Amen. And 
so we affirm our faith together in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And as we do so, we remember that this is the story of his taking on of frail flesh. Though he was divine, he did not cling to equality with God, but made himself nothing, taking the form of a slave. He was born in human likeness. He humbled himself and was obedient to death, even the death of the cross. Therefore God has raised him on high and given him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow and every voice proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. We sit on the altar prayer. Let us pray. The response to Holy God is hear our prayer. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, we pray to the Father. Father, in this holy night, your Son, our Saviour, was born in human flesh. Renew your church as the body of Christ through Paul and Sarah, our bishops, and the sister bishops, John, Glenn, and David. Bless the our rector and Stuart, our priest, and Jackie, our pastoral assistant, and all who assist in our, in our service. Father, make us your church into the people you want us to be, and forgive us where we fall short. Touch us to be generous in judgment, bold in commitment, and sensitive in listening. Where we find no love, let us bring love and make us more like you. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, there was no room for your son in the inn. Protect with your love those who have no homes and are sleeping roof under bridges, under passes and shop doorways. Those living in substandard houses and who are all overcrowded and those struggling with money problems and all who live in poverty. Surround them with your care. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, Mary, in the pain of labour, brought your son to birth. Hold in your hands all who are sick, in our families and friends. Those who are ill, in hospital, suffering from COVID. Hook upon them all and support, sub, sub, sustain them in their recovery and help all doctors and nurses fight in this modern day place. <laughs> Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, your Christ came as a light shining in the darkness. Bring comfort to all who are lonely, children who are being bullied, and dare not tell anyone. Shy people who find it hard to make friends. Those who feel rejected and isolated. Those whose partners have died or left. And especially at this time, elderly people who miss their families and old friends. Lord be with them all with your infinite love. Holy God, hear our prayer. 
In this holy night, the angels sung, Peace to God's people on earth. Strengthen those who work for peace and justice. Open their eyes to see the truth. Guide them in their judgment with wisdom for the good of all. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, shepherds in the field heard good tidings of joy. Give us grace to preach the gospel in our thoughts, our words, and our actions to all who we meet, to be your shining light. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, strangers found the holy family and the baby lying in a manger. Bless our homes and all whom we love. May our homes be a beacon of love and happiness for all to see. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, heaven came down to earth, and earth is raised to heaven. Receive in your hands those who have died this week, and those whose anniversaries are at this time. Although they are not with us, we see them in our minds and hold them in our hearts in sure hope of resurrection. Holy God, hear our prayer. On this holy night, let us offer up our own personal prayers in these moments of silence. Holy God, hear our prayer. In this holy night, Christians over the world celebrate your birth, your birth. Open our hearts that we may feel the breath and play of your spirit. Unclench our hands that we may reach out to one another in openness and generosity. Free our lips that we may speak for those whose voices are not heard. Unblock our ears to hear the cries of the broken heart. Open our eyes to see Christ in friend and stranger, that in sharing our love and our pain, our poverty and our prosperity, we move, we may move towards that peace and justice and love which comes from you. Holy God, hear our prayer. Father, in this holy night, angels and shepherds worshipped at the manger throne. Receive the worship we offer in fellowship with Mary, Joseph, and all the saints, through him who is your word made flesh, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You would stand for the peace and uh, clearly we aren't able to share it. If you'd like, I can do it to make a suitable gesture. And then the choir are going to be singing to us as the altar is prepared. It came upon a midnight clear. And whichever way helps you to listen to that, whether you want to remain standing or sit, um, please make a choice as you do that. So this holy night, the angels sang glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to whom all in whom he delights. The peace of the Lord be always with you and, and also with you. And so we make a gesture.
gesture towards one another on this Christmas night. <laughs> Lord, accept our gifts, and on this joyful feast of our salvation, by our communion with God made human, may we become more like him, who joins our lives to yours, for he is Lord, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord is here. Spirit spirit is lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right to give thanks and praise. For glory and honour be yours, always and everywhere, mighty Creator, ever living God. We give you thanks and praise for your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who for love of our fallen race humbled himself was born of the Virgin Mary by the power of your Spirit, and lived as one of us. In this mystery of the Word made flesh, you have caused his light to shine in our hearts, to give knowledge of your glory in the face of Jesus Christ. In him, we see our God made visible, and so are caught up in the love of the God we cannot see. Therefore, with angels, of heaven, we lift our voices to proclaim the glory of your name and sing our joyful hymn of praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord, and as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, the 
of broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he'd supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you, gave it to them, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence, his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bring him before you the bread of life and the cup of salvation. We proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Christ is the bread of life. When we eat his bread and drink his cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come in glory. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day, when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, and gather us in your loving arms, and bring us to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Saint Paul, Saint Peter, St. John the Baptist, St. Bede, and all the saints, to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ, and with Christ, and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the mind is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us your peace. Christ is the bread of life who came down from heaven. Lord, Lord give, give us this bread forever. As you come forward for the bread again, I encourage you, bring whatever this year has been to the crib of Jesus and to the bread and wine that speaks of his death for us, and speak to him of what is on your heart. Receive from him the gift he would give you this night.
like to come and sanitise. Let us pray. God, our Father, in this night, you have made known to us again the coming of our Lord Jesus. Confirm our faith and fix our eyes on him until the day dawns and Christ the morning star rises in our hearts. To him be glory now and forever. Amen.
The Word was made flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory. May the Father who loved the eternal Son from before the foundation of the world shed that love upon you, his children. Amen. Amen. May Christ, who by his incarnation <coughs> gathered into one things that earthly and heavenly, fill you with all joy and peace. Amen. Amen. May the Holy Spirit, by whose overshadowing Mary became the God-bearer, give you grace to carry the good news of Christ. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always, wherever you are. Amen. And before I give the dismissal, it is Christmas morning, so happy Christmas. <laughs> Whatever Christmas looks like for you tomorrow, remember that Jesus Emmanuel is God with us. Whatever is taking place. And he will be present by his spirit. So go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the Amen. name of Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.